Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today I want to talk about math in programming and just how important it is. So a couple days ago I was talking to my buddy Eric who does some tutorials on different JavaScript frameworks and just programming in general. And he had the question, you know, he said, hey, um, you know, I know that with regular programming, math is kind of over-exaggerated in its importance, you know, most of the time when we're building a web app, we're not really doing any complicated math at all. And he said, but I know that in game development, that's different. You're constantly doing complex 3D math and stuff. Um, and of course, when I heard that, I, I was not too surprised because that is a very big misconception. A lot of people think that you need to know a ton of math to be able to build games. Right, and a lot of CS degrees, for instance, if I look at the ones right by my house, um, they always tend to require a decent amount of high level math. And there's good reason for that. I mean, you know, computers do run off of math, it's, it's hardware and software, and there's a lot of math going on under the scenes. And back in the day, you know, earlier coding days, especially with games, you had to do a lot of 3D math to figure things out and to really optimize stuff to render, if you wanted to render anything on the screen, you kind of had to understand the math behind it and get it all set up. Um, nowadays, a lot of that stuff is just built into the engine, so you don't really have to worry about it. In fact, I'd say that the majority of the time when I'm coding, probably four out of five days, there's zero math beyond multiplication and division and addition. So 80% of the time, there's zero complex math at all. Um, the rest of the time, it's all already done for me anyway. The editor or the engine is already handling the the more complex 3D stuff for you. So you don't really need to know it. Again, it doesn't hurt to know the stuff. It's, it's useful. It can come in really helpful, especially if you want to do certain types of game development. So if you want to be a graphics programmer that just works on the rendering side, uh, 3D math is important there. Right? It's something that you need to know, you need to have a good grasp on. Um, most people aren't doing that though. Most people are you know, moving objects around, setting up interactions, playing with inputs, and hooking, to basically building a game. It's very rare that there's many programmers doing much graphics work. In fact, when I think back to every AAA project I've worked on, we usually had one or two people that were really in the uh, the graphics and 3D math side, really heavy there, and everybody else just kinda wasn't big on that stuff. They didn't really need to know any of that stuff, they just needed to know how to use the engine and how to make the game and make the game fun. And, and when it comes to that, it's a lot more important to understand how to keep your code clean, how to build a project out that actually works, how to watch out for performance pitfalls, you know, and not code yourself into a corner. Um, and hell, even proper spelling is more important than advanced math a lot of the time. I can't count the number of times where I found things that are just spelled terribly and it makes it confusing or problematic. You don't find stuff because somebody spelled stuff wrong. Uh, very rare that I run into problems that are math related, again, because all of the complex stuff, or almost all of the complex stuff, is done in the engine. You really just have to build a game. You don't have to know a lot of this stuff. So if you're worried about math, maybe math isn't your strong point, you know, and you're like, hey, I'd love to build games, but I suck at math. Um, don't worry. Most programmers suck at math, and it doesn't make a difference. It's a big misconception from back in the days where it was extremely important, basic, critical, and you had to know it and now you don't. So now you can just get in there, build a game, as long as you can multiply and divide, you know, and kind of figure things out. And as long as you know how to use Google to search for the couple cases where you need to figure out a formula and you're not quite sure how it works. For instance, maybe you want to fire a cannonball and have it land at a specific spot. You don't need to figure that math out. People have done it. Multiple people have done it and you can look at their code Look at every line, they'll explain exactly how it works if you care, or you can just drop it in. Ideally, you can at least pay attention to it and try to figure out how it works, but don't stress if you can't or the math is just confusing. Make a game, make it fun, and um, yeah, math's fun, but not critical, not vital, you can do without it. 
Um, anyway, I hope this is a little bit helpful, at least for anybody who's you know stressed about needing to know a lot of math to build games. And um, if you really love math, again, that's awesome. It's great. It will help you, but again, not required. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, no, don't forget to share, subscribe, and uh, hit the thumbs up button. And uh, ah, that's all I got.